like other affordable and more manual emergency portable radios, the running snail emergency radio doesn't automatically turn on or alert you when there's a weather warning. You must turn the radio on and tune it to a weather station to hear weather updates. But like other manual analog designed radios, by not being on standby or having an always on LCD display, it uses power more efficiently. The telescoping antenna for improving radio reception clips neatly on the outside of the casing. You can move between the weather, AM, and FM stations using the sliding switch mechanism. You have analog dials for tuning and volume and on-off, which can be quite small and stiff to manipulate. So watch out if you have big sausage fingers. Power options, usage, and functionality are a bonus on this model, and for such a compact size, it carries a replaceable 4000 mAh battery, making it well suited as a cell phone's charger out in the wilds or during power outs. The hand crank is supposed to generate 20 minutes of radio time per minute of cranking and a bit longer for the flashlight. However, don't rely on the solar panels to recharge the battery. Solar power will be more useful for prolonging a charged up battery during the day. Note that using the tilt function to position the solar panels will turn on the reading lamp underneath, resulting in some unnecessary drain of the battery at the same time. You're better off awkwardly angling the entire radio in the direction of the sun. The radio connects to the mains using a micro USB power cable. It comes with a battery indicator light, which is red when charging and green when done, and shows battery life going down in 25% increments. Nice touches are the carabiner and adjustable wrist strap, but this model doesn't come with an earphone jack. The four LED reading light and adjustable flashlight are useful for nighttime activities or power outs. It comes with that soft touch type of coating over the casing, which is nice to begin with, but may degrade over time. It doesn't come with an SOS radio beacon, but there is a toggle switch underneath, which switches between cell phone charger mode, off, or SOS siren, and flashing light to alert rescuers in the vicinity. To sum up what we like on this weather radio, the durability and robustness, especially of the crank handle, is a proven asset in emergencies. The reliable weather channel and AM FM radio, and the ability to charge small devices. On the downside, it does have to be on if you want to receive alerts, but useful during emergency situations and for checking weather conditions while camping. It has no headphone jack for private listening. So what do you think? Do you like this weather radio? Check another video where we reviewed the five best weather radios and see if any of these options is better for you. Tell us in the comment section what you think. Think. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.